Alright, I got everyone to level 12 and I also got the cure 2 spell and some anti-paralyzation and anti-confusion spells for everyone. So, let's continue. So, this is Ashura's castle. Or Ashura's tower, I should say. It shouldn't uh, pose much of a threat to us now. Even the boss will not be too strong against us on level 12. However, the boss after that is probably a roadblock for a lot of people. It's one of the hardest bosses in the game for a very specific reason, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, let's loot some stuff. For example, these air elements. And if they let me, I can also loot that chest over there. Which contains dynamite. Unfortunately, we can't return. Unless we drop down. Also, equip that blackjack. It's a bit, just a little bit stronger than the gold weapon. Do this little puzzle, if you can call it that way, again. I'm not really sure why there are so many holes in the floor. They don't really serve a purpose. And there he is, Ashura. Let's just save. Shouldn't go wrong, but let's just be sure. Return the units, Ashura, or else. The units were already moved to Chaos' castle. I'll give you something else. Ooh boy, I love surprises. Oh, I guess he means he's attacking us. Let them take care of the warriors to the side, and everyone else can focus Ashura. He really shouldn't be too tough. Since Sharon has the lowest attack power, let her heal. Except she was paralyzed. Great! So let's do this instead. Don't run. Use paralyzation on Sharon. Let him heal and let her attack. So this game has a hidden mechanic. If your character is hurt, they get slower. That's why Curtis was faster than Gloria in this turn. He can attack. Everyone else can attack, actually. Don't punch me. Ashura is really a pushover compared to the next boss. He's actually not much stronger than Dogra. Another round of free attacks. Mm, uh, except we miss. This is actually going too well right now. Let me just make sure Gloria doesn't die. Wow, what's up with Ashura? Is he defending? No. Why was he so slow? Never mind. We don't need to guard right now. Let's just go full attack. Really shouldn't take much more turns. I think this guy, yeah, he's defending this turn. Which means another round of... Never mind, he's dead. 400 experience, 10,000 gold. And some meat from the warrior. And the chaos key. Which we will need to reach chaos, our next target. Unfortunately, chaos is one of the strongest enemies 
in the game for the entire reason that he has area of effect spells, but you don't have area of effect heals yet. Which makes him quite a challenge. Mm, let's go for now. Unfortunately, a challenge in this game means, yeah, you guessed it, more grinding. Boy, this game loves grinding. But let's get some supplies first. Because over here is Moo, and Moo has some nice items. Let's buy some potions. Mm, we got enough. And some de-stoning potions, because we don't have any anti-stone spell yet. And also, let's get some elixirs. These will hopefully not come in handy. But I got them just in case. Also, I noticed we don't have shields yet. So let's fix that. Just get three for now. Equip these shields. Arthur will not get a shield for for now. He will get one pretty soon though. Now we should sell uh, this stuff we don't need anymore. I, I should probably show this thunder stuff at least once before I sell it. Don't need that gold sword. These TNTs or these bombs in general, they are pretty nice, but they are also annoying to use. If you equip them, you're... well, first of all, they are single use, obviously. And if you equip them and you use the single use up and you don't have any, any others in your inventory, you will be unarmed for the rest of the fight. Which makes them kind of useless in boss fights, unless you have a lot of them. And so the only purpose for them is to fight low-level enemies. But then why would you use one of these bombs? Alright. Let me save, because we will need another grinding session. Woohoo!